Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the return of ride Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. With an open world, there are going to need to be some new improvements on travel. So could Pokemon bring back the tradition of ride Pokemon at this point and innovate it in ways that we haven't even seen before? Let's discuss it. Sometimes it's surprising to me how quickly the concept of ride Pokemon has become central to the franchise. It was only a concept that was really introduced in Pokemon Sun and Moon and subsequently Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon added to it. But since then, it's been featured in almost every single game. The only game to really not have ride Pokemon is Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but... That was a system of HMs, and in that game, they pretty much did away with HMs. You could call upon wild Pokemon to perform the HM tasks, so it was ride Pokemon under a different name. So for Scarlet and Violet, a game that's going to be taking place in a big open world environment, could we see the return of ride Pokemon? I think it's entirely possible. Now, the reason it's a little bit controversial, I think, and the reason why it's not a dead set thing is because of what Sword and Shield did with the concept. If you remember, Sword and Shield used a bike with various different features. It could ride across water, it could go up and down land, it had various improvements that you could make upgrades over the game. You could improve its speed, you could improve its stamina, you could change out the colors and look of the bike. The bike could be used in not only the open world part of the game, the wild area, but could also be used in routes and towns, just like the typical bike can be. If you've ever bred for shiny Pokemon or for competitive, and you do it in that in the, in the breeding area that's not part of the wild area in Sword and Shield, you will know that the bike is essential to going back and forth on the bridge and getting your eggs to hatch as quickly as possible. So the bike was Sword and Shield's fix for Pokemon and interaction with the overworld through Pokemon. They took it and did a little bit differently. They took flying and also removed it from what it normally was and used the Corviknight taxi service. It was your fast travel. It was the canonical version of how you're able to travel between towns and cities at your leisure. But Pokemon Legends Arceus brought back ride Pokemon. Weirdeer, Basque Legion, and others were able to traverse the region and help you climb up cliffs, climb and go through different water areas, explore caves. All of these different things were the ride functions of the game, and it was linked together with the lore of the Hisui region. You could call upon and unlock more ride Pokemon as you proceeded through the game. If Sword and Shield and Legends Arceus are any indicator, they're going to do some sort of hybrid for Scarlet and Violet, because Scarlet and Violet is a hybrid of the classic Sword and Shield formula and some of the changes made with Legends Arceus. So to expect a hybrid game to have a hybrid form of these two features, I think is only logical, and I think it's most likely what's going to happen. So if we see the return of a bike, some kind of glider perhaps, with this new open world environment, I think there are also going to be specific instances where Pokemon are going to be used for travel. And if I was Game Freak and if I was the devs upgrading this system and making improvements to it, I would make it more personal. I would remove some of the features, but make the customization more advanced. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. Check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, it is always greatly appreciated. Let's get right back to the video. One of the best parts about Pokemon to me is the customization that you can have through your team. Now they added to this with trainer customization and other forms of customization as the generations played out, but ever since generation one, a staple of the game has always been that your adventure is different from somebody else's. You can have an entirely different team, you can have a team that's identical to someone else but run an entirely different set of moves, and as the Pokemon themselves got more advanced with breeding and EVs and IVs, male and female gender differences, all of these different additions that were made over the franchise, that theme of customization got deeper and deeper. It's one of the best parts of Pokemon, and it's what Game Freak, I think, as we move forward into the future, needs to continue to make improvements on. Now, this is on the Pokemon side. We could have an entire discussion on how to make trainers more customizable and make your experience more different from other players, which is the general appeal of the game. But for the Pokemon specifically, I think ride features is how you can do this in a new and interesting way. I would reduce the number of needs for ride Pokemon. 
So maybe you need it to traverse certain mountains. Maybe you need it to fly from certain distances. Maybe you need it for water travel. I would take those three concepts, remove any other things that maybe come historically from HMs, put them all into a bike or a glider, some sort of system that can work as a universal piece. For the existing features that then go back to ride Pokemon, the ones that I would keep around, I would dramatically increase the number of Pokemon species that can be utilized with these features, and I would make it viewable in the overworld. Imagine having a team of six, and you can use three of them to climb up mountains. You can use two of them to travel across seas, and they get animated into the overworld. You see their sprite, you see their 3D models, not their sprites, and you actually get to adventure with the Pokemon that look like they're the ones on your team. Now, they've done this a little bit in certain generations. We've had Lapras, for example. You could hop on the back of a Lapras in previous games if you had one and traverse the seas, and if you didn't, it would be a different Pokemon. They've done this sort of thing before, but I think it needs to be dramatically expanded upon. I think almost every single flying type Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet needs to be able to fly around the open world once you've unlocked the ability to fly. They can lock it behind some kind of flute or something else like they did in Legends Arceus. That's perfectly fine with me if you want to limit the overworld expansion at first. And as you progress and as your team gets better, you're able to access different areas of this open world easier. I think that's fine. But if you're going to fly, you should be able to use your entire roster of flying type Pokemon to get around. If you're going to traverse to an island that's separated from you by an ocean or a lake, you should be able to use any of your water type Pokemon that you can ride on the back of or hold on to the back of to traverse through the oceans. This is a level of immersion that Pokemon needs to adopt. And it's what I think Scarlet and Violet can do to make that open world experience that much better. I think it would be an amazing feature for the games to include. And I understand I'm going to get some comments saying that number of Pokemon would be difficult to program. That number of Pokemon, it's in Game Freak's nature to kind of make put band-aids on massive problems and just kind of apply a universality to it and not really address specifics. They do it with in-game battle animations and other things constantly. I get that, but I'm a Pokemon fan. I'm not the developer. This is my video. This is my channel. I'm going to say what I think the future should be. And if we're talking about a sense of immersion and a sense of great gameplay, I think this is the direction that Game Freak needs to move in. I don't think this needs to be limited by a Pokedex. You could simply limit the number of uses for Ride Pokemon while keeping it a staple of the franchise. Ride Pokemon and regional variants, some two of the topics I've addressed most recently, I think are now staples of the Pokemon franchise. They are things that exist. HMs no longer exist. They are no longer a staple of the franchise. And if you're going to improve Ride Pokemon and bring it into the future, I think this is one of the best ways to do it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Do you like my idea for Ride Pokemon? Do you think it would be a good thing for Scarlet and Violet to include? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Check out the Join tab. We're always hoping to welcome new members. We're going to be starting a fun new series soon that I can't talk about just yet, but it's going to be awesome, and it's something you guys are going to be able to get involved with in a deeper way. So it's, really, it's a really exciting time to be on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are looking forward to the next Pokemon Scarlet and Violet discussion video. And with that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.